This first video is how to set up Stellarium for Origin Live View. I'm currently using the latest version of Stellarium 25.1. I just upgraded from 24 point something. I believe any version of Stellarium should work because the telescope control has been around forever. Once you have Stellarium open, you're going to go over to the left and hit uh, the, the wrench or F2, which will bring up the configuration menu. You'll go to plugins, scroll all the way down, second to the bottom is telescope control. You're going to want to click on load at startup. Then you got to configure. You're going to need two telescopes in here. You will add them using this add new telescope button. Once they are in there, you will click on, um, it'll pop up. You will configure the first one. External software, remote computer, you're going to name it Origin. J2000 should remain checked. Uh, 0.5 second delay should be checked. Start connect at startup should be checked. You're going to use local host connection settings. It is on the default port 10001. Use field of view indicator, and I use a one degree circle to help me find the telescope once it connects. Okay, the second one is going to be slightly different. I call it origin schedule because we use it to schedule images. It's going to be on port 2002, which should also automatically default to that local host. <clears throat> Do not need use field of view indicators. So you're going to set that up. And you can disconnect and connect these at will. Um, basically, the telescope uh, control on Stellarium is a client. And OLV is the telescope server. It allows the client to connect to OLV and get position updates from the origin directly. And so I will show you how we do that next. Um, but let me show you a few other things on here. You're going to want to set your location. And this location that's in here, if you look at it, is exactly the same way origin uses the location. It is, uh, I believe it's called decimal format. You're going to want to set up your location, um, and you're going to want to go in here and set a few of the uh, background stuff, what information you want to see. Um, one of the things I like to use is, uh, see if I can figure out where it's at. Maybe it's over here. Yeah. Rising transits and settings. This is really useful when you're scheduling images. I typically don't want everything displayed inside of Stellarium. I just want the name, catalog number, right ascension deck, the magnitude, and rise transit and settings so that when I'm scheduling an image, I know the best time to image it. Also inside of Stellarium, you can save it so that it always comes up in this half screen window. You can go into configuration and once you get it set up like this, you're going to want to go here and say save view, save settings. And what that will do is the next time you open Stellarium, it'll open exactly just like that with a half a screen taken up. That's uh, a time saver when you're working with OLV. And once this comes up, I will end this video. And there you go.